this we're going to insert all the keyless and a date wheel with a date wheel overlay onto a 2836. We're going to start with this little pin right here. We're going to make sure that it's pointing this way. So we want it to, which I've already got that straight. We're going to start out with the little flat gear. It's got grooves on little teeth on one side. Teeth go towards the center. I'm going to drop that in there. And I'm going to grab this castle here. And it's got matching grooves on it. And they're going to line up. And that little, that little bar right here is going to go in that little groove. One of those two in there is going to match up right there. I'm going to start out. And we're going to go on to the levers. This little lever right here fits down right in there. We'll pull it, push it up all the way towards the center. We'll take this one, and drop it in. And it's got a pin that sticks right down here and it goes in this little slot. And when we put it together, we're going to push it all the way flat so it's going to open against this gear. And there's a little pin right here and a little hook right there. And it, well, you want those to match up. Then you're going to take this, you're going to drop it right there. You want this little arm to fit down in that groove in that castle. You just kind of push it back just a little bit. And we're going to drop this in here. I'm just going to hold it all down. So you want to get that little piece right there and this little piece in here. That little notch, and then you're going to drop a screw in there. Just going to get it there. And you're going to get it not too tight. You don't want it. These do break very easily. Once you get that in, you're going to take this little piece right here, kind of push on it, and it, there's a little pin, and it goes in this little groove. And then you're going to take this and you're going to pull it back and then this touches this little arm here. That was that arm that went this way. So it kind of puts everything there. Then we're going to take this little piece right here. And this has beveled edges on it. it normally has one beveled edge. It faces up. So we're going to drop it down on that little shaft right there. And I've already oiled this before, but as you kind of go, you'll you want to oil this right here. Keyless works. I don't really oil. A lot of times it makes it bind up. You want to drop this. This is a select the date wheel. When you do your quick set and your time, you see it kind of just want to match it up there. And here's the fun part. We're gonna drop the date wheel on. We're gonna hook this. We're going to hook this little back edge back here. We're going to hook it right here. There's a little spring, and you want to get it hooked under there. What we're going to do is drop it over here. And slide it forward. Just make sure it's in there. So it's in there. And we're going to take the cover. Grab the cover here. Okay. This is kind of backwards than I normally do it, so we'll see. Just want to drop this down in there. Okay, let me turn this. Okay, it's a little bit easier. So I normally do it. Okay. We're gonna line this kind of along, get it lined up. There's these little tabs. You want to get hook one of those tabs in there. And hook this tab in there and push it push it back. There it goes. Okay there now it's snapped in just a little bit. So now you've got a hold of it. Here's a tab, here's a tab, and then this goes under here. You make sure that your little date wheel gear is under this little arm and this little arm is not on top of your overlay. Now the screw is going to go in right here. Now the trick is when you put that screw in, 
with the overlay, it wants to bind up on that overlay. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take this screw, we're going to kind of do it, lay it just like that. It's laid, laid down, but it's kind of touching the inside of that little hole right there. Then we're going to take this little piece of wood. And we're going to hold this. We're going to lift up on the back side of it. We're just going to kind of drop it. And then what we're going to do is kind of pick up on the overlay, and I'm lifting. I'm lifting on the overlay underneath with the with the uh, tweezers, and I'm barely lifting on the or the date wheel with the uh, tweezers and the overlay with the wood just kind of lift it up so now we've got it kind of up underneath there so then the screw is here and the overlay is on top of it and we're going to start this and I'm turning this so I don't hit the camera normally don't do this just There we go. Okay. And once it's tight, we're going to take our stem. There it is. We're going to stick our stem in there. Got it in time set mode. And it snapped over. Do it again, just make sure. Go to the second position. Since it's hanging out, there it goes. Just like you're supposed to only set the date between 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. You don't want to set it anywhere close to midnight, 9 p.m. to 3 o'clock in the morning. You don't want to set it. And that's what was happening as this was kind of hanging up when I was trying to do it earlier. So you can kind of see actually what happens. This little piece right here that changes the date, it gets hung up in there and kind of wants to put a bind in it. So that's how to do it.